Good morning, folks. Uh, we are back to explain 12. Uh, this time uh, it's the turn of the IXEG Boeing 737 Classic in delivery of post air cargo. It's an Italian cargo uh, freighter company of the Poste Italiane group. This model, as you can see, uh, is a mod. Uh, a mod uh, you can apply to the um, a stock plane. You can go to the explain.org site and you will uh, find, I will put in, in the description below, uh, there's um, a mod that transforms the uh, passenger into the cargo variant. Uh, just uh, plugging the windows, so livery is a one piece uh, with the windows plugged so correctly depicting the, the freighter version of this plane that in real life is still used. And this company, uh, Poste Air Cargo, uh, currently uses, uh, I think, five of uh, five uh, of those planes uh, to operate uh, this service. Uh, so this is a real-world flight from uh, Rome, Fiumicino to um, Milano, Malpensa. So um, it's it's a very simple method to uh, transform. Uh, or to have the cargo version of this plane uh, ready. So just follow uh, the few lines uh, uh, in the description of uh, the page. I will put the link and you will have a completely new aircraft to be used with those liveries. Um, the liveries are also available either in the explain.org site or in the threshold site or just Google them and you will find many liveries so fedex uh, ups uh, and so on a little detail you can see this is the boeing it's not the boeing 737 400 as you can read there this is still uh, the 300 uh, version but um, this livery uh, mimics the 400 version that in uh, in the real world is is the correct version that that is operational um, for this company. So 300 but it is like uh, a fake 400 version. Okay let's step into the flight deck to see um, again to continue my testing uh, with the uh, Meta, Meta Quest 3. So let's hear and explain we have to use those controllers to have full control of the VR, uh, the VR uh, environment. You can also use the big arrow, but it's very tricky. As you can see, the cockpit is is awesome, detailed, crispy. Whatever you want to say, I like it very much. And there are uh, those uh, two big EFP um, tablets, very nice, very um, clear. The only thing that's the laser of the uh, controller cannot be seen through the EFP. You, you have to touch the screen um, to activate the pages. So this is the, the file I've prepared for the plan. Mm, it's a normal. Um, common PDF file you can put in the uh, Avitab folder and you can grab this file by you know selecting the path. So this is the flight plan I prepared in Simbrief Rome Fimicino to Milano Malpensa and let's power it up uh, so let's have the uh, GPU on to have the GPU on uh, you have uh, in VR we, we have to activate this uh, window of the, the menu, wi menu windows that we can grab with the controller uh, like this if I I, I don't want to s resize it's a bit difficult it's not fully optimized for VR I think so let's get it bigger now we can okay we can grab and fix uh, somewhere so um, in uh, the Ground services and another big window will open 
and we can connect the ground power unit and for the moment we can close this big windows big window and then we have the GPU you can see here available so battery guards external emergency lights on and you can uh, hear the uh, now we have to it's very loud is the cockpit sound that's a bit loud in my opinion okay I hope they don't cover my voice too much uh, in the preferences in case we can lower the volume here we just keep them for the moment okay let's stay here um, because in we need the pre-flight page where we will going to um, load the plane according to the to the flight plan uh, so we are a, f a cargo a freighter flight so this uh, th th here there are some you know fake passenger because you okay in Simbrief you cannot um, simulate uh, a cargo a cargo flight because I selected the, uh, the, the, the passenger version for this plane but I will use the um, the zero four weight so um, 47 uh, 47,500 kilograms uh, that's I have to put via loading here the passenger so for me it will be four passenger four passengers giving me uh, 4508,000 five hundred eight thousand and I have to add some you know some cargo some uh, cargo to reach our target uh, uh, zero for weight so we have to add like uh, 2000 more or less 2000 kilograms so 46 point8 47 point5. 47.4 47 we are already there 47.5 so uh, fake passengers fake cargo to simulate all the f the the, um, the big cargo for this plane and so we are done with the zero four weight and uh, the fuel on board is 6,106149 so 6 perfect start refueling done so also the fuel is loaded so the plane is fully loaded we can close this windows window very good we forgot to align our system my big mistake because it takes time so on on we can uh, turn on the windows eaters and also APU bleep on one pack on one off uh, position lights on and couple of uh, sorry a couple of pumps and we are uh, done with the over pa overhead panel flight director first master for the pilot and 
his leave for the first officer and initial altitude here in uh, Italy normally is 4,000 feet we set 4,000 and 100 to, uh, to um, uh, recall us that we will have to uh, confirm the initial altitude And we can set up zero for weight here in the weights for seven point five. Okay, we can set them up here. Also on the first officer's side. So let's have a look at, all, uh, at the local pressure, the local pressure here in Fiumicino airports. Uh, so no weather information available here. We have to check uh, in the instructor windows that in Buar you cannot see. I will have a look at the local QNH, which is a 1023 hectopascal. So 1023. We set and checked 20 feet. It's okay. It's the uh, let's check it. Uh, the altitude of the airport altitude is just make sure that the QNH is correct. It is 14 feet, so we are okay. 14 feet. And we are here. Uh, this is uh, the cargo stand, and we will be taking off from runway 25. So it's it's a very short way to the runway threshold. Great, I'm having 40 FPS. I'm streaming, so I would say that performance-wise. Uh, this uh, this plane uh, is very is very good. Is uh, better than other aircraft like the Taurus or the Zebo. This is lighter to me. Okay, let's go on. So with the FMC setup. And okay, so so we are we were looking at the reserves. So final reserve plus alternate total 2.6 tons. Two po okay, let's uh, this it would be 2.7, but better to stay low. So 2.6. And the cost INEX is, according to the plan, is 34. And the cruise altitude is 300. And with the average wind of uh, 304 slash 14. 304 slash I'm trying with my left hand but I cannot use this 
so much. So 14. Ease of deviation minus minus three. Minus three. In there. Tradition altitude is I don't remember if it's five or six thousand. So let's go to the departure plates. Departure plates is it's six thousand, so Um, and we'll limit uh, the rate one, take off one, climb one, take off, uh, center of gravity is here, a reef light was here, it is 22.9. Flaps 5, so we have the uh, reference speed, V speed, V1, 3, 4, rotate, 3, 6, V2, 44, and we set the MCP speed to V2, set, um, so back to the flight plan. Normally we would have the ATC guiding us, but we, uh, for the moment we are we have no ATC, so we have to trust uh, Simbrief flight plan, which is given uh, Nenig Seven Lima departure, Gilio, and so on from runway two five. So Nenig Seven Lima. Uh, this is Manic 7 Lima. Manic 7 Lima 2 Gilio 8 Golf Transition. So this is the one. Initial altitude is going to be 4000 feet as predicted. So we can set 4000 feet and select our departure route ah, okay so we forgot to to, um, uh, to load the file and also to enter our IRS position it's gonna be GPS left uh, Lima, India, Romeo, Foxtrot, Roots. So the file is called Lima, India, Romeo, Foxtrot, Lima, India, Mike, Charlie, Core Root, Activate, Execute, Departure. 25 Nenik 7 Lima Trans Gilio 8 Golf Execute uh, Let's go back to the init page Let's check if something has changed uh, Reflecting our flight plan loading So take off Yes, as you see the center gravity has been reset So 22 points Nine. Flaps five trim four point one. We just uh, we set 
think it's a 4.1 set and this speeds 34 36 44 44 set and good so legs This is good, we can start our APU pumps pumps on APU start one, two, three seat belts on no smoking auto and we can set our cruise altitude By level 300 and landing altitude in Milan uh, is going to be I don't remember we, we, we can set it later but of course it's something like more than 100 and 150 Let's set for the moment 150, then we will set it later. Um, so, anti collision lights on. We have the APU generator ready. So, we can switch the power and we can disconnect ground power thanks man can put this here or here So QNH1023 set uh, on first officer's side. I should put also this one. Well, it's difficult to see. Let's move this. Two, three is set and here we can set the auto brake to RTO set and we just uh, we'll do a takeoff and an initial climb then maybe in in a second video we'll do the uh, descent phase and the approach and landing to uh, Milan or another you know another route another airport just because um, yeah as the video gets too long so we can call the tug to make the pushback we can call the stock X main one I have better pushback install but I yeah still I don't trust its full uh, compatibility with the X-Plane 12 and the new planes and the new uh, yeah new versions of X-Plane so we play a call the so flight configuration oh no sorry resume uh, where is it so it's maybe advanced uh, flight so ground handling window and we can request a uh, strike Fumachino ground Delta India X-ray Echo Golf request push back straight back Delta India X-ray Echo Golf stand by push back tractor is on the way 
Nice, so... Uh, we have the uh, parking brakes on. Let's have our checklist. I cannot see the checklist in where it doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work in war. Let's see if in yeah yeah it's there in 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 pancake mode. It's very a pity. So a repair flight check. We'll we have done everything. Uh, passenger signs are on. Okay. So oxygen uh, instrument transfer switch normal. Uh, windows uh, window heat on hydraulic set uh, air condition and pressurization set parking brake is set engine start levers cut off yes uh, rudder and aileron trim zero checked uh, taxi takeoff briefing completed full pumps on Commencing pushback. Release parking brake. Oh, thank you, sir. Parking brake released. Auto brake, RTO, uh, FMC pre-flight completed and take off speeds. Uh, V1, VR, V rotate, uh, V2 set. MCP, V2 is set. Heading, initial headings not set, altitude set. So initial heading will be uh, a runway heading. Two, four, seven. So we are ready uh, for taxi to runway twenty-five. And uh, we can set our TCAS to on. So sorry, TCAS is TRA transponder on. And our uh, pedal study E can come on, and uh, we can uh, start engine number two. So APU packs off. We are ready to start number two. Twenty fuel in the door is closed and locked. We had a good start for number for engine number two. Start number one and number two goes to continues. Taxi light on. No smoking on. Fuel in. Good starting. So sweet generator switch. Continues. Generator switch on. Two. On. One. APU off. Here. APU bleed off. Packs on. Recirculation fan auto. 
important for this classic version pressurization from ground to flight on and air conditioning still something is missing air conditioning what is missing Overheat, duct overheat. Uh, we can res reset this. Reset. Okay. Now the the air is flowing. So just we just need to reset. So recall, recall. Okay, we are ready to go. Parking brake off. And we can taxi. Well, I have my Yeah, my throttle doesn't work. Doesn't work. I need to disconnect the USB and reconnect. This is an inconvenience that happens sometimes. So. I need to remove my VR headset for a moment. best okay back in set our view and now it's it's working I think we cannot avoid to hit this the stairs here no not a problem
Oh, this plane is so smooth. I like it. Um, so we are at holding point. Uh, uh, bravo, bravo for runway 25. Okay, let's line up and take off. Landing lights on and taxi off. Strobe on. Transponder TA ray. Tikas TA ray. Transponder on. Only two five ready. Uh, the scenery is default. This is the default um, airport. I only have uh, auto auto as usual, but now you cannot see it. We will see it later. And um, okay, so flops. We had not set them. We cannot can uh, uh, cannot arm Elnav and Vinav in the classic version. We will do uh, just above the ground. Um, we have set the initial. Heading, so we can go set forty. Forty stabilized, brakes released, and toga. Forgot those this. Power sets. Speed is coming alive. Eighty checked. V one rotates. What's your rate gear up? Four hundred auto pilot A engaged. L nav B nav engaged. Speed check flops two. Speed check flops one. And speed check flops zero. Q 
gear is up and locked let's set it to the off position for the brake off engine starts off mode let's continue climb fly level 9 0 level change 250 knots There's something not matching with the with the SID. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I this is the manic five alpha. This is the manic. Uh, 7 Lima which I selected it, it's right it's right eight thousand feet passing transition after we can set it to standard barrel one zero one three two nine and nine or two and the same here let's climb to our final altitude I have set a button do it in my uh, throttle Let it change. Oh, we can set the now. And nine a thousand, ten thousand check landing lights. Precision checked. Recall. Ten thousand check completed. Okay, we are we are done with with this flight, and um, it was just a flight preparation and the takeoff and initial climb to test uh, this plane with the crest three etc. It is very good. Another test uh, has gone successfully. And okay, I have to thank you as usual to follow. And maybe next time we do a full flight or uh, something else, uh, something, something different with X Plane 12. Okay, folks, thank you again and see you to the next one. Bye-bye.